right guys, lately I've been interested in making alcohol stoves. Now here is a fancy feast one that I have made that uh, it it works. It's super simple. You just get a fancy feast can, you put, uh, put some holes on the sides of it, put your alcohol in it and it, and it works. Um, the issue I'm having is is that my pot that I use is too it's too little so the flames lick over too much and they're licking the top of the the lid and uh it's not a big issue but it's not hit it's not heating my uh water as efficiently as it should so um i've also played around with the uh two can method and uh as you can see right here now the issue I've had with these is pretty much getting the air pressure right uh, just to create that pressure on the inner chamber. So what I'm going to teach you today is how to make one of these and hopefully I'm going to do a better job at it. This one works, but it's just, it's not, this one works, it's just not as good as I would like it to be. So I'm going to make a new one today and I'm going to let you guys see how that's done. So. First thing you want to do is have two cans. Uh, one of them is going to be for the top, and one is going to be to the bottom of the of the alcohol stove. Now, what you want to do is you want to get a book or something. And what you can do is you could score the can like this to get the height. But what I'm going to do is take a book here. So just to give you an idea, this book is about an inch and a quarter high. So when I put the marker on there, it's gonna be a little bit more. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the can on here, put the marker up against it, put the marker up against it. I'm gonna like turn the can to kind of just create, create that line. Now you wanna take your time with all this, but it's nothing too crazy, so you know you learn by experience, and that's pretty much what I'm doing. So, as you can see, there's a line around that, and what you're going to want to do is take a blade, and you're going to want to cut into this. Um, I'm going to start just above the line, just to get it started here. You don't really want to put any kind of uh, dents in the can yet so here we go being careful you should always note you should always be uh cutting away from you but there we go now once you get a little split in there uh, start to cut along that line i just wanted to get the slick going with the exacto knife Alright, so you can see I've cut that. Now what we're gonna do, we need to do this to the um, to the other can. But before we do that, we need to score out the top of the can right here. Um, the reason we're gonna do that is because this is the bottom, this is this piece, and then this is gonna be this piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an exacto knife. Be careful. And just on the inner lip here, you're going to score along the outside. The way I like to do it is I like to get a little paper towel so that this spins nicely. And I kind of just rest my blade on there. And just sort of be patient with it. And kind of come up, come down on this lip. So we're gonna cut a hole here in the middle. and uh, kind of cut four pieces. I'll show you here. All right, so there you can see I've cut uh, these corners out. And what that pretty much does is it makes it easier to, uh, to just knock these pieces out. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of bend them here. And try to kind of knock them out. And that's why you score it beforehand so you can see that just broke pretty easily, actually. So there you go. There's the inside of that. Now that we've done that, we're going to do the same thing that we did to this piece right here. Here's the two cans. So you can see about the same height, which is what we wanted. And as you can see, this is going to, this one I'm going to put inside of this one. But first, we need to make the inner wall that is going to go on the inside of this. It's going to fit right in there against this inner part right here. So to do that, we're going to take this can. So now what you want to do is you want this to be one clean piece of aluminum. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut the straightest line you can. And I'm going to use this tag right here to uh, get a straight line. So we're going to cut it all the way through. want that clean edge. So there you go. There's this piece. For this piece, this is going to be the inner wall that goes inside the cam. And you want it to be a little bit taller. It's better to have this inner middle piece taller rather than shorter or else the cans, you know, if it's too short, it won't get the pressure it needs. But if it's tall enough, that it's okay to be taller. And then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that straight edge that I just made, line it with my ruler. I'm actually going to cut off, cut off these uh, two ends so I have clean, clean ends. Now, like I said, this is about, actually it's closer to an inch and a half. So I'm going to measure do uh, just over an inch and a half. Do right there. That line I made. And you want this to be as straight as possible, so. That's why I got the ruler. And you know, if you mess up, you get to drink more beer. So, inch and a Yeah. So, I don't know if you can see my two lines there, but that's about how it is. Which is taller, it's taller than the can. Now I'm going to cut, cut these the best I can along that line. Takes me back to college. I went to school for art and design and we uh, would always do these small crafty projects like this. So yeah. So there you go. There this, there's this. And that's going to be the middle. So what, what you're going to do next here is you're gonna fit this to the inside so, like so around that inner loop you just kind of measure it out what that does it creates the inner wall that where the fluid and the pressure is gonna come up and out of so once you got that you're gonna cut a slit here just a little one on either side without cutting yourself and you're
you're just going to use that as a marker. Splits in here. Now what you're going to do is you're going to follow it up, continue one on this side, about halfway. You can adjust this. Then on, the, on the opposite side, you're going to do it about halfway. What that does is allows you to kind of do this. And this is what I'm saying. See, I, I didn't cut far enough, so now it's it's not even. But that's okay. You can just Kind of go back, make a deeper cut. There you go. So, so that's going to be the inner wall. And you can actually just trim off these little ends here. tedious so like I said this is what's going to be fitted on the inside uh, before we fit the inside so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a screw and on the inside you do a screw or nail or whatever it doesn't really matter but on the inside on the inner lip you're gonna set it down in there and what you're gonna do that is the only heavy object I have so you're gonna give it a couple of little pushes. Now, I know it's probably hard to see, but it's created these little notches. And what that will help is if you have a pot on there, it's almost like some grip, essentially. So do that, I don't know, three or four times. It's up to you. So. You don't want it to break through, but, uh, yeah, it kind of just brings the can out a little bit. So I'm just checking here some of the ones I've done. See how much. So yeah, it's pretty good. I like that. So I don't know if you can see these little, little guys. So. Now that we've done that, we're ready to just start putting it together. So you're gonna take the inner piece that you had here, and what you wanna do is you wanna cut, there needs to be a spot for the fuel to go down and under. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a little slit. A little triangle like so you want on the opposite side and that's going to allow it to the fluid to kind of get through and build that pressure so there you go so now we got our main pieces here it's time to start actually putting it together and what's going to happen is this is going to go on the inside and uh will fit down in there and then this piece is going to go on top. But fitting these two pieces is kind of difficult and pretty much the best way I've figured out how to do it is by kind of bending this can here. So you're just going to kind of grab it and squeeze and kind of twist it and get these kind of uh, get it bending a little bit and this is going to be the one that like goes on the inside of the other can so there you can see this part here and that's just going to help me kind of fit it in there um you know you slowly start working it so you want to get this middle piece in here like so and then you want to take your uh top start working it into the other can. 
and uh, you can see the middle the middle piece is in there um, and you don't have to worry about that just yet and you want to kind of be gentle with this so you don't split the other can now once you start to get closer you want to fit the middle piece you want to fit the middle piece in there so that it, the wall into place here as it starts to form. So once you kind of get it in there, it's kind of hard to undo. Like so, there you go. And then just push it together. That feels all the way. Looks like the top is touching the bottom. Very good. Now, the final part, part is to create the holes where the flame will actually come out of. So I've got this little drill here. I don't even know if it works, but I don't know if we'll give it a go. And uh, you're just gonna put like, I don't know, 16 holes, just kind of start doing it. Need one more right here. So I'm trying to let the drill do the work, but it's not a very good drill. <laughs> through and back out. So there you can see the uh, holes all the way around. And uh, that should be where the flame comes out of. So let's try this out here. So let's try this out. I got a little hot plate cutting board thing here. Um, what works really well is denatured alcohol. Now what I like to do is on the trail, I like to have one of these uh, little measuring cups, super lightweight. But when you're using an alcohol stove, it just works. So I'm, I'm just gonna do a little bit here just to, just so we get the idea hopefully it works there see if it goes usually when you do this it takes a couple uh takes about a minute for it to get fully going I'll turn off the lights so you can see. Ooh, fire. Oh, there it goes. So there you can see, let me get my pot here and you can see. So if I put my pot on there, you can see this burns under it, you know, and it doesn't really come up over it. That works a lot better. But anyway, um, I'm going to let this burn out, clean up, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so now that everything's cleaned up, I'm gonna weigh this for you, which it is 0.4 ounces. So that's a 0.4 ounce backpacking soap, which is pretty awesome. It's cheap, it's efficient. Um, you know, that's 0.4 ounces without the fuel, but still, instead of carrying like a metal canister with a pocket rocket or one of those other uh, camping stoves out there this is a great alternative if you're looking for something so there he is one last look so thanks for watching guys